Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one titanium. Welcome back. <laughs> Time for another video. Save the tape. <laughs> Before I do the new save the tape, let's do the old save the tape. Okay. So let's listen to what uh, Mike Mousy Boy Norman was be saying back in the day in May. Hi, right, how how you guys doing? Right, Welcome back. Um, <laughs> save the tape it's time for one of those videos save the tape back on uh, May uh, 10th 2019 he, let's see what Mr. Uh, All Profits had to say and uh, try not to laugh okay my cough all this stuff is going to fade away I'm telling you right now if you look at the fiscal support that we are experiencing, it is unprecedented. Unprecedented. I just sent out a thing earlier. We are up $218 billion over last year already. You know, at this time last year, remember last year, spending hit a record. At this time last year, we were up something like $75 billion, and we were growing at about 2.5% year over year, the growth rate of spending I'm talking about. This year, right now, we are up $218 billion over last year, and the growth rate of spending is 7.5%. I have never seen that rapid a pace of spending growth. That is really, really astonishing. That is the tide that floats all boats, I'm telling you. That is the main underlying fundamental. I mean, at that rate, the economy in the second quarter can, can expand at maybe 4%, maybe over 4%. Mike on. And it, I laugh. Like yesterday, the other day, we had... <laughs> the economy is going to expand at 4%. Oh, my God. It's just enormous fiscal support. Oh Jesus. This this is so ugly. God. God, that's ugly. Once again, uh, the yield curve flipped to an inverted uh, oh, yes, the yield you know, curve. situation and you had that's, all uh, That's enough. That's enough. You want to know where May 10th is? It's right here. Okay. This is where May 10th was. This is where price was. You want to know where it is today? Let me show you. <laughs> I'm up 24,000 uh, almost, and <laughs> wow, fiscal support, I've never seen anything like that, <laughs> all right, <laughs> so disaster area, right, okay, let's fast forward to now, and let's see what he's saying now, what kind of stupid shit. All right, let's fast forward to July 25th. <laughs> he looks like a dick with a fucking rubber on top of his head. Anyway, um, 44 likes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> let's listen to the perfect storm is coming together in the next two weeks. Oh, my God. But uh, the perfect storm that he's talking about is the market is going to go ballistic. Anyway, let's listen to what he has to say uh, here. Once the Treasury gets the green light to go ahead and start selling bonds, that's it. The bond rally is over. A large portion of the bond rally was caused by this artificial squeeze that was the result of the debt ceiling, right? No new bonds. Reserve balances being brought down by the Fed. That's a drain of tier one assets that the banks had to replace and they were buying bonds, but there was a limited supply because no new treasury sales, yada, yada, yada. You understand, I, I explained this a million times already. <laughs> All right, let's see what reality is. Ta-da! <laughs> That hurts, huh? Damn, that hurts. All right. <laughs> so the price, uh, the yield uh, on the 25th was 2.8, and today it's 1.89. <laughs> 
fucking 9% down. And if we add this other little thing right down here, it's 10% decline. Oh. Oh. God, that fucking hurts. He got 44 likes for that video. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, okay. Charging battery. I can't help it. I can't help it. And okay. All right. Let me compose myself. All right. So let's go back to July 31st. And this is July 31st. Oil moves higher, like I said. <laughs> all right. Let's listen to what he says. Following me. Two things. Charging First of all, battery. I have remained bullish on oil this entire time. And last week, after the EIA weekly petroleum status report that came out last Wednesday, as it does every Wednesday, Charging there was an 11 million barrel draw and the market sold off. And I made the video and Charging I said, battery. that is pure zombie, know. you know, um, bad behavior. I said, they all bought when they saw that headline, 11 million draw. And then when it didn't follow through immediately, just like that, remember I talked about that, they need that an instant gratification and it didn't follow through. They all panicked and started trampling all over each other, heading for <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> God, that is so painful 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 all right 31st right in here no sorry where's 31st uh, fuck july 30 yeah <laughs> july 31st yeah i was bullish i called it <laughs> the boom <laughs> you can't you can't make this shit up Seriously, oh, I've been bullish in oil this whole entire time. <laughs> Look at that. This is fucking horrendous. Horrendous. What is it down? 12%? <laughs> uh, so, I, you know, <laughs> people have to be paying him $250 so they can do the exact fucking opposite of what he says. The exact opposite. There will be fucking millionaires. Seriously, I, I think I'm, I might start to subscribe as well and just do the opposite. Next video. <laughs> All right, so here he's talking about that uh, the Fed is the price setter and it's the monopolist and uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's the deal. If the Fed was the price setter and the monopolist and all that beautiful stuff and interest rates are 2.5 then why is the 10 year at 1.86 you see what i'm saying it would never be at 1.86 uh, if the fed was the monopolist and the price setter okay so let's listen to what he says listen he's an idiot so under normal conditions you would never have the fed considering a rate cut right now but because they, Powell, is looking at the market for leadership, doesn't understand that the Fed is a monopoly entity, a monopolist in rate setting, it dictates, not the market, but that's not the way he, he understands it. <laughs> because that's not the way it is, you fucking idiot. That, <laughs> you see, uh, the, the Fed is playing catch up to the market. The market is not playing catch up to the fucking Fed. He's an idiot. And he he just admitted it. But he's telling you that no no no, that's not the way it is. No, <laughs> that is the way it is. The Fed is catching up to the market because the market is the price setter for interest rates, not the Fed. Okay? The Fed only tries to manipulate rates to wherever it wants to. But when you have interest rates at one point eight six and it's at two point five Guess what? You got to play catch up. So <laughs> they're fucking idiots. All these MMT tards are fucking idiots. They don't have a fucking clue as to what they're talking about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, another episode of Save the Tape. Take care, guys. Bye bye.